To work on a hypercar, a hypercar that is the first all-electric British hypercar, is something very, very unique. No one buys a sports car for rational reasons. It's there purely as an emotional purchase, whether or not you're passionate about the way it looks, the way it drives, the way it sounds, whatever it may be. So if you think of what a Lotus is about, which is all about driving dynamics, aerodynamics, weight efficiency, you kind of capture it all here. I personally like cars that look very fluid, very softly sculptured, maybe with a few you know, hard lines in it like this one. I think that always has a timeless quality. They're the sort of forms that you see in nature. A big thing on this car is the airflow management. We call it being car by air, as though the surface of the car has been eroded almost, like you see in nature by a glacier or by water or whatever. The way we manage for airflow to reduce drag, to improve performance, but also to improve range. All this incredible sculpture you see around the back of the car would have been much more difficult to do if we were packaging a conventional engine because it would have filled that space. The way the car is planted on the road, you know it's going to be a car that handles. And the wheel arch is very prominent, lets you know that the car is well grounded. Big diffuser on the back, which gives the car a real sense of the intent. You know exactly what this car is, complete with the DRS flaps in there. And then some beautiful details in here. The Lotus letters, they're all backlit, and the T is the reversing light for the car. And of course, we've got other things that people love to see on cars like this. We've got active wing here. When you sit inside the car, you can actually see the corners of the vehicle. So it makes it easy to place the car on the road, but also it's just a very emotional thing to see the light sort of dance across the fenders when you're driving the car. But when you think how light this car is and how much power it's got, it's going to be pretty special to drive. It's like a good movie. That really is the closing shot of the movie when everyone gasps.